So Thane and I are in a town that has a ton of pawn shops and we decided, let's see how far $100 can go at four of them. So here's the rules. We start with a hundred bucks. That's all we can use at the first pawn shop. Whatever we buy there, the value plus the cash reserves we still have on hand, we then use at the next pawn shop. Hopefully it will exponentially increase at every pawn shop. And by the end of the day, we'll be at a big number, but it's contingent completely on what we're able to find. So let's do it. Pawn shop number one. Hopefully we can spend all hundred bucks. One question that I recently got in a video is if you had $100 to start in reselling, what would you do? So that kind of inspired this idea because this is one of the things that I would do. Go to a pawn shop, find an item that sells quickly, spend that $100 and turn that $100 into 200 and then rinse and repeat. Do it over and over again, 200 to 400, 400 to 800. And by month two or three, you're gonna have like a thousand bucks and you can actually start to do some damage. But only use cash that you actually have in hand don't use debt. So the first areas that I love checking in pawn shops, obviously the video games. Look at the games that they're flat priced, you're in. And then check out the consoles. And then after that, I usually go over and scan the cameras, the electronics, and check out all of those sections. Looks like games are pretty tapped out. And they have like only one system. And now we're kind of looking at the electronics, seeing if we can find something in that neighborhood. Lane says this lens might be good. Maybe we'll be able to get them down to 100 on. It's got 114. And there's some cameras and stuff that are kind of okay. Nothing jumping yet. We'll see about that lens. So we knew this lens was a really good deal, but we only had 100 bucks and it was marked at 114. So we took it up to the register to see if we could make it happen. Thane looked up the lens, as we mentioned. We were able to get it for 100 bucks out the door. $100 out the door. She even brought it up. She goes, I could do that 100 bucks. We were like, oh uh, that's the number <laughs> perfect that's exactly what we're looking for so sold comps on this are 290 295 285 271 290 266 most of those are bids Heck yeah so we're gonna call Let's that go. 233 233 after fees that's 15 percent of fees assuming we can sell it for 275 and we now have 233 bucks to spend at the next pawn shop and one penny never forget on to the next one so it turns out thane and i were wrong about the lens. It actually sold for 300. So keep that in mind moving forward. We uh, we based off the amount that we had as if it were to sell for 275, but in reality, got 25 more dollars. And even though we made a little bit more on the first $100, it doesn't mean we were wise with the rest of our decisions in that day. This next one's not typically as good, but it's right across the street. But we're gonna see if we can find anything to spend that 233 on. As long as we don't die. Let's play some Frogger. I honestly thought about just Froggering it. All for the GameCube Gambit. So games look pretty tapped out at this shop. Most of them are marked about retail. There was a couple of VRs, but they wanted 200 a piece for them. That's not quite the margin I'm looking for today, but Thane is checking on a couple of tools right now. So we came across these Fluke devices. It looked like there was definitely money to be made on them, but because of this challenge, we had to abandon them. But we don't have 375. So we're gonna have to find something else to flip first. Yeah, we may have to keep this in mind and maybe come visit this later. So yeah, let's keep this in mind. Let's do that. Okay, let's do it. We'll see if we can get more profits at a different pawn shop and work our way up to that. Second Cash America, let's make that 223 turn into something better. So pawn shops are all a bit different and you have to figure out kind of the three main things when you enter a pawn shop. So one, who has the power to negotiate? You wanna work with that person. Two, do they negotiate and how do they decide what they can no negotiate on? And then three, is cash more powerful? So we're running into the same problem here, 450 bucks for that camera and it goes for 700, 750, right thing? Yeah, 750. Right around 750. Sometimes it can hurt to leave a deal like this behind, but because of this challenge, we're only moving at the speed of cash and we don't have the cash, so we had to move on. We just don't have enough money, we got 223. And we're still kind of working our way towards that last pawn shop because there was some really good stuff there. But there was a really cool knife at the shop, so I ended up picking that up for a really good price. All right, got this for 30 bucks. Sold. <laughs> so picked up the knife for 30 bucks. It sells for 75. We'll call it 60 after fees, netting us 30 bucks in profit and bringing our total to $263. Pretty good. Cash America number three. We're hoping to get to about 425 so we can go buy those Fisker? Fiskar? Fit, fis, something like that. Those those yellow meter things. Tools! <laughs> Would you rather 
Got a $750 digital PS5 or a $60. Xbox 360. I think you know what my answer is. So the Xbox ended up having a pretty busted up controller, but the PS4 cameras for 10 bucks a piece definitely made up for it. In 30 seconds or less, I'm gonna tell you what we got from that pawn shop. So we got the Elgato, that was 60 bucks, worth 100. Got the 2DS for 55, that one's worth about 90. And this is after fees. Got the PS4 cameras, two for 20, those are worth about 60 for the pair. And then Xbox 360 for 50 bucks we ended up getting it for, and that is worth about 120. Wow. So that's a pretty nice addition to our total. We spent a grand total of $197 of our 263. But the value of that adds up to over $370. $370, wow. So add that to our 66 and we're at $436, including our original $100 investment. But the rest of that is pure profit so we're going back to that original pawn shop where we saw yes. something we wanted but we didn't have the money so we're, gonna we're go hoping it. it's going to be tough to negotiate down to that level like 425 was the hopeful price yes. that we'd be able to negotiate to let's go so we went back to the first pawn shop and sealed the deal on the flute devices but man was that a mistake these little crap most stankers caused me some problems so we ended up getting this guy and the other multimeter for 375 bucks out the door. So at this point, we had actually done a really great job getting items that have high demand and sold quickly. So everything sold except for that small $30 knife, which I'm still optimistic about. So the small multimeter ended up selling for 100 bucks. But this is something that I just don't know about. I'm not educated in this. I thought it would be worth about $550. Turns out it's probably more like 350 to 400. So best case scenario, we're looking at 50 bucks profit on 375 spent. So here's the lesson I learned. Did you learn anything? When you're paying up for something, don't buy something that you don't know about. If I saw those at a garage sale for like 20 bucks a piece all day long, that's a great way to buy my education. But I paid way too much for my education in this case and won't make hardly any money. What I should have done is gone with what I know and bought the Sony camera for $400. I know I could have comfortably sold it for 650 to 700 and walked out with six, over 600 bucks after fees in this challenge. So we did really well right up until the end when we swung big and missed. So hopefully you guys can learn from what we did well in this challenge, buying things that sell quickly, and then what we didn't do well at the end, buying things that we don't know about and paying way too much for them. But I would love to see you guys do this challenge yourself. So do your own $100 challenge. Let me know how it goes. Go to garage sales, pawn shops, whatever it is, use the same rules, and let me know how you do. I'm really curious. And also, stay tuned for a sealed games video. And check out our second channel's video right here. It just came out and it's the truth about what $5,000 in eBay sales actually looks like in profit. Just after the right price.